千里之行，始于足下。A journey of a thousand miles begins beneath the feet. We now gather in the Tao to travel the journey together. I want to take a moment to talk about the way that Tao masters usually will talk about this part, about the difference between the person who's boasting and the Tao or the Tao cultivators who do not boast. So I have seen Tao masters use a memorable mental image to help people remember this concept. Let me share that that with everybody now, and explain how it works. The leaking boat, and I think a pretty good alternative for、uh, this picture is the sinking ship. So Tao masters will compare the person who's boasting as a leaking boat in the context that. With every boast that you make, with every claim, that every exaggeration that you make about your achievements, that is like punching another a hole in the hull of the the boat or ship, so that you create another leak. There's ever more water that it's taking on, and you are sinking faster and faster. So the main point is to think of arrogance as a leaking boat, taking on water and sinking fast. And every boast that you make, all the bragging that you do, become additional places where the water is coming into the boat, causing it to sink. So the reason why Dao masters use this as a vivid mental image is because. You would naturally assume and conclude that, what、well, of course, no one wants to stay on this boat. Everyone wants to jump ship, swim to safety, put some distance between you and the sinking boat, so that you don't get pulled in by the vortex when the boat finally sinks. This maps to real life because. In real life, nobody wants to hang around a boastful person. Everyone in his vicinity is gonna want to get away as soon as possible. So that's the way that this imagery works. Now, the flip side of this image is also something that works in that if you have a person who is practicing humility, someone who's humble, then You have a boat that is very sound, that is not leaking water. It's floating and sailing. It's working like it should. So that would be the opposite example. And to illustrate the opposite of what the Dao master says, I like to bring in a different image. What is it? This is the Dharma chakra. It's the wheel of dharma. This is oftentimes used as a symbol of Buddhism and also Jainism. This wheel, as you can see, has eight spokes. So it can be seen as either four parts or eight parts. You know, four divisions or eight, and that can come to represent. The four noble truths of Buddhism, or the Eightfold Path, the right action, right thinking, etc., the right path. So this is also something that can be seen as the steering wheel, as the ship's wheel that you that you use to navigate an ocean-going vessel. So the that one symbol works in a whole bunch of different ways. 
which is why I want to make sure we talk about it. So this is, so chakra means wheel. The Dharma chakra is the wheel of, of Dharma. It can be seen as the ship's wheel on a dharmic boat sailing the Ku Hai. So Ku Hai is the term in Mandarin that is derived from Buddhism. So I think everyone knows that Buddhism is actually much more popular in Chinese speaking parts of the world, Mandarin speaking parts of the world than it is in its original ancestral origin, which is India. So some, a lot of the terms uh, have been brought into Mandarin and people know about this. If you grow up in a traditional Chinese culture, you know about Ku Hai. Let me explain. The two characters, Ku. The first character means bitter. And bitterness is another term to describe suffering. Suffering is dukkha in Buddhism. It's about things not being quite satisfactory, things always being imperfect. So it isn't as severe as the word suffering would imply, but it means that things are fundamentally not great and can never be great. Here, it just means bitterness. Hai means ocean. Ku hai, the, the ocean of bitterness the ocean of suffering is the Buddhist metaphor for life itself. That life is full of dukkha, or in this case, it's like an ocean of bitterness. That things are never quite as perfect as they could be. And if you get something good, it's followed by something bad and it will never last. That everything is transient and permanent. So the Dharmic boat sailing the Kuhai is the ocean going vessel. It represents the teachings of the Buddha that you can use that boat to navigate through Kuhai, the bitter ocean, so that the boat can take you to the opposite shore, the shore representing spiritual awakening or enlightenment. So the, so the metaphor that we were talking about, the mental image, the vivid imagery of the sinking ship applies to the Dharma chakra. Because when you practice the Tao humility, you ensure that there are no leaks in this boat, the Dharmic boat that's sailing the Ku Hai. And if it doesn't leak, it doesn't sink, it becomes a very usable vessel. It's a vessel that you can take to ferry yourself to your ultimate destination, which is the distant shore of enlightenment. Not only that, but you can ferry a whole bunch of other people with you. You can take a whole bunch of other people with you. Everyone will be safe and sound, meaning everyone will be studying the teachings of the Buddha uh, that's what it means to be a passenger on the Dharmic boat as you sail to the distant shore of enlightenment. So this is the opposite. This is the diametrically opposite to the sinking ship that is sinking because of all the leaks where every leak is produced by a proud boast and exaggeration. So both the wheel of Dharma and the sinking ship, I want to present to you as mental imagery that can help you master the lessons of this particular chapter. Our meeting has come to an end, but the journey continues on. Let us travel safely. Until next time, may the Tao fill you with peace and happiness.